Mr. Neil Motlong for our digital segment. Neil, very good morning to you. Morning, Alicia. All right. And of course, uh, we're very pleased to be joined on the main panel by the three wise men. I'm talking about political analyst, Mr. Sipo Siepe, Mr. Mkabi Singhe Kiana, and media specialist, Mr. Shoni Mokari. Gentlemen, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So let's kick off this week now. What was big in terms of social media? I, I think I have a pretty good yeah, idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was Take the it of course, that yeah. was big on social media this week. Um, it was in Cape Town. We mm -hmm. asked um, our followers on Twitter, uh, did uh, President Jacob Zuma address any of your concerns in his speech? And as you can see, 15% of the people who replied said, yes, he did. While 66, which is a huge number, said no, he didn't. And 19% of those said he missed an opportunity. That is mm. just from uh, over 400 people who voted. I mean, it was characterized by so many things. I mean, yeah, on social I'm media. really interested to mm. get to know what people were saying on social media. I saw the memes. Yes, there were very a funny, lot of memes. Very I mean, entertaining. But let's get to the other side. What were they side? saying uh, in terms of what transpired in Parliament? Like Luzuko here, I mean, he says all all that unnecessary show of force by militarizing parliament did not scare the EFF. The ANC has long lost its moral high ground. People mm. are, you know, are very disgruntled with what happened. Um, then you have Tembega here saying South Africa, our great heroes are spinning in their graves in disappointment and agony. What did they die? What did they really die for? Mm. So not mm. 2017. And this one, did we? Did we need a boxing commentary in Parliament? Uh, hashtag Sona2017, blow no, by blow. no action as it happens. <laughs> Gentlemen, I just want to get your quick reviews. Obviously, let's start with you. What did you make of the social media reactions to what actually transpired in Parliament this year? Well, I think they were quite appropriate. I mean, to bring in the army with guns to uh, Parliament was just a stupid decision. Mm. Uh, completely unnecessary, yeah. All right. Uh, Professor Siapa, what did you think? No, I think uh, militarization and force has never worked in the past. But uh, we need to go beyond the obvious. Mm -hmm. We should be asking why do we go into this uh, state of affairs? And one of the things that we must also address is uh, this culture of intolerance that exists within political parties. Yeah. That uh, in as much as people have right to protest, but there's also the need to respect the other people's right to hear what is actually being said, whether you like it or not. But what we find is that uh, we have become so intolerant that even speaking or debating does not become a possibility. Yeah. So we must go beyond the obvious, which is uh, easy to condemn, mm -hmm. to simply say, can you also respect other people's right mm -hmm. to speak? Can All you right. other, uh, respect other people's rights to hear? Okay, Prof, we'll talk more about this topic later on in the show, but Neil, take us through the next big hashtag of this week. The what next was big it? one is a very sad story. Ah, very sad Just indeed. Just from the mm -hmm. who passed away at the age of 45. Um, he was battling the, uh, with um, motor new. Um, motor neuron, neuron disease, disease yeah. yes. And this is what people had to say on, on social media. I mean, they say they lost a great hero. This one says, what a man, what a player at uh, nine years season, box a best number nine, and one of all time great player of the game, mm -hmm. rest in peace legend, we had some awesome times. Oh, man. Um, mm -hmm. um, he was an amazing man. I had the great privilege and honor to meet him through my wonderful friend, Gavin. Uh, thoughts and prayer go to his family. Mm -hmm. These are just condolences that yeah. people are bringing. And this is one Very vibe. sad to hear of the passing With of one, one of our mm. great hashtag Youth Fund of Season. You fought a great uh, fight. And that is, of course, the golfing yeah. champion there, Mr. Ernie Else. A very quick one, Shani. What did you make of the reaction? Well, I was actually uh, surprised, actually, that uh, he passed on so early, yeah. uh, given that uh, somebody like Stephen Hawking was diagnosed with the same illness many, yeah. many years ago, and he's still alive. So I wonder if he didn't have access to the same resources and technology. So, um, I mean, I know I'm not commenting on the re reaction, but it was just something that stood out for me, that yeah. uh, 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 people have been able to live with this kind of illness for a much longer period than, uh, than uh, expected. You know, if anything, <coughs> let's, uh, I think uh, U.S. Uh, disease has given uh, more attention to the mm. disease known as motor neuron disease because a lot of people actually didn't know what it's all about. And I understand he mm. had a more aggressive type. So, Shani, that addresses your question about not having access mm. to uh, the better services. Gentlemen, mm. I'll give you a go at the next big hashtag of this week. Neil, which one was it? The last one has to be Sandals versus Pirates, ah. which made news everywhere number on six media. again number six and now <laughs> number six has taken a new character on social media as it's characterized as a pirate thing i mean as you can see this tweet 
<laughs> it's actually a meme, Pirates Yay, no? where you have um, people jumping over uh, bending tires. I'm and sorry. this, <laughs> this one, actually, it's myself. number six. Um, the tweet says, after last night, it lost, Pirates lost, they replaced number six with a Pirates icon. So. <laughs> what, let's, what let's get more tweets mm. on that. Do you have more tweets? We have now? more tweets. I mean, <laughs> this one is a meme also saying they're ready to, to meet Pirates players. They're holding, you know, knives and stuff. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <with them. laughs> Gentlemen, your quick comments there. Let's start with you, please. <laughs> well, uh, I'm afraid I'm not a happy person this Unhappy morning. People. Pirates is my team. That was quite uh, disgusting. Mm. Uh, well, fortunately, we'll get a, a coach fairly soon and uh, be back to winning ways, hopefully. <laughs> Anything to say there, quick no, one? No, I'm not into sports, but I know that my nephews are very traumatized. Uh, the so, only time I think of six is when I was at school, when they talk about the six of the best. Yeah. You, know, you know you're in trouble. A lot of people in studio are also upset today. Let's wrap it up with one more tweet uh, uh, there on that topic, Neil. This is one more tweet. I mean, when pirates play, uh, play president must authorize 441 military servants at the stadium. I mean, it was hectic. <laughs> very interesting mm. indeed. Well, unfortunately, those were the digital media trends uh, this week. Now, where can they find all this information? In and fun. of course, the show afterwards. The show you can find it on YouTube at SABC Online. And you can find the stories on www.sabc.ca.za forward slash news. All right, we're going to take a quick ad break. And after that, we unpack the State of the Nation address to stay tuned.